obviously I'm very much against the Russian invasion. Uh, it's not justified. I am actually Russian speaking Ukrainian all my life. I was speaking Russian, so there's, and I can attest, there is no uh, any kind of discrimination of uh, Russian speaking people in Ukraine. Uh, it's all lies and propaganda. Uh, and I'm his Russian friend. Uh, yes. We all live in peace and. Yeah. Yeah, we're no Russian and Ukrainian are. living in peace, and yes. there is no any fights or anything like that. It's all which happens is uh, unlawful and should be prosecuted. And I think that uh, European Union and uh, United States should step up and uh, help Ukraine. And also, since back in the days when Ukraine became independent, when it became a state after the fall of USSR, uh, Ukraine uh, gave up its uh, nuclear weapon. Arsenal, which was at that time, I think, third in the world. Uh, and uh, Budapest Memorandum was signed. Uh, and United States and Russia um, uh, made a wall to protect Ukrainian integrity. And now Russia, Russian Federation is violating it. And that's, you know, that's unacceptable. And Western world should uh, deal with that, I think. I totally agree. And do you think this, um, you know, this invasion, if it's happening for sure, will trigger it's like a, happening. yeah, will it trigger a bigger, wider scale sort of conflict or war, do know. you think? It's, no one knows, you know, like I uh, read a lot about it, I watch a lot of analytics and uh, uh, no one knows. Uh, I mean, people are commenting World War Three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope we won't, yeah. even if it will be just war between Russia and Ukraine. And it won't become a, a you know world war. Mm -hmm. It still will be a huge war, the biggest out there uh, in Europe since Second World War, because yeah. uh, Ukraine has a big army and Russia has a huge army. Yeah. There will be a lot of bloodshed. Yeah. No one will benefit out of it. Russia won't benefit. Ukraine definitely won't benefit, and even, you know the entire world will will suffer out of it. So uh, thank you for that. Thank you for your thoughts. I really appreciate it. And, you know, we all want world peace, right? So yes. let's all hope and pray for the best. And I really love that your friendship, you know, with your fellow Ukrainians and Russians. And that's why Vancouver is such a beautiful place, because yes. we're so united here, right? We're so yeah. multicultural. We're cultures and we mm -hmm. live together in peace. And I hope that will be the model, you know, for, for the region, for Ukraine and Russia reconciled in some way. Reconciliation. Thank you for your time. Thank you.